transported to a foreign land, stripped of her dignity and paraded like a circus animal for the sake of entertainment. It's a true story of Sarah Bartman, who was dehumanized and exploited by a dude who was hailed as a hero in world history. I'm A.B. Tucker, and this is Ill Will, a five-part series dedicated to examining and exposing the long history of gross medical mistreatment targeting Black women around the world. Georges Couvert is celebrated as the father of paleontology, the study of fossils, and is revered as one of the finest minds in history. But a lesser known part of his legacy involves his encounter with Sarah Bartman, a black South African woman and member of the Khoi Khoi tribe who was born in 1789. She had sort of a tragic childhood. Her parents died very young. Um, she married very young. She had children that also died while they were babies. In October of 1810, at the age of 20, Bartman, who didn't understand what she had consented to, was trafficked to Europe by a British officer who promised her she would appear in theatrical shows. Upon arrival, Bartman was sexually exploited and derisively named Hottentot Venus by her new owners, who publicly exposed her naked body in a cage alongside animals to paying customers. She was put on display naked because people were very intrigued by her black body, that she had sort of proportions that we think are normal for black women. She had um, large buttocks. She did not have a flat stomach. She had large breasts. And so they put her on display, like along with circus animals, so that people could sexually assault her and touch her and exploit her. And white men profited off of that and they made money until the day that she died. Powerful men like Couvert paid money for private demonstrations in their homes where they would sexually exploit her. Couvert then turned Bartman into his own personal science experiment. Couvert, who clearly had a fetish, examined Bartman in his laboratory and used her as a case study to perpetuate the racist theories claiming the inferiority of African people. Tragically, Bartman died at only 26 years old on December 29th, 1815. Following Bartman's untimely death, Couvert secured the right to dissect her body. He pickled her brain and genitals in jars, which would be displayed in a Paris museum until 1974. He also made money by making a plaster cast of her body and using it as a display to attract visitors. And his name is one of 72 inscribed on the Eiffel Tower. So Sarah Bartman is sort of this example of how Black women's bodies were to be mocked, how they were thought to be commodities. It's also a legacy of why Black women today are seen as over-sexualized or immoral. This idea that Black women's bodies are for other people and not for themselves. After years of advocacy and at the demand of President Nelson Mandela, Bartman's remains were finally returned to South Africa in 2002, where she was then laid to rest in her homeland. Sarah Bartman's story serves as a reminder of the extreme exploitation, objectification, misogyny, and racism endured by Black women. And though history may continue to honor the oppressors, we will still shine a light on the women who deserved a voice and whose stories deserve to be told. This is Ill Will, an examination of the gross medical mistreatment of Black women and how this history shaped the healthcare crisis we still face in the day.